Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now, what do you think when I mention the word Volvo? Volvo, yes, you think of a very safe car manufacturing company and then this, you know where this is going. So today we are reviewing the car in question which is the Volvo XC40. So I have driven this car extensively for four days and from what I can tell you it is by far one of the best SUVs currently offered in the market and you shall see why and this has been the much talked about car in this year because of the, the compactness and let me mention first things that this car is in direct competition with a Range Rover Evoque and an Audi Q3 so this, this, this car faces a lot of tough challenges from the, the other contenders. So let's check out what it is. Now let me start off first with the color is just bloody good. It is so cool. This is one of, I think I've seen this car in white, silver. I mean, other, other colors are good as well, but this color, oh my God, this is just amazing. Now the model in question is a Volvo XC40 T5 all wheel drive. Our design, our design, yes, this is the all the art design features I'm going to be showing you all. So it comes with an 18 inch uh, rims and it also comes with our design grille and the Volvo logo. But check out the front first. So you have a very, very dynamic kind of different looking SUV out here. And look how compact this car is because it is super compact, but yet. It's got enough of space for everything you want for five people to sit and also the luggage. So check out the light, which is LED. And you have the Volvo logo out here. And also you get fog lamps. And this is the, the center grille. And this car comes with four camera system for parking assist and a lot of safety features that we are going to be discussing throughout this video. So the four camera system gives you the 360 camera for parking and to maneuver the car around. And there are four different cameras, which is mounted on the side mirror as well. And also on the other side and at the back. So this is pretty much the front, which is pretty urban and stylish. And as we go move around, there is this new design, sort of this, this cutout triangular shape, which, which kind of looks pretty fancy on this car. And as we move behind at the back, the, the, the whole shape continues. And as you can figure out, the lights are completely new and LEDs. And at the back, you have the, the usual kind of pretty Volvo-ish thing going on. But if you look at the back, I, I, the best bit about this car is this uh, this view from here check this out and by the way this car comes with a dual tone which is from the factory itself comes stock which is a dual tone color which is the blue and the black which is the art design let me show you the art design as well this is the art design so that's a confirmation there are lots of features which is inside the car which i'm really excited to show you all about but this is more or less the the walk around of the entire uh, car from outside and also you can see there is a full panoramic sunroof so we are inside the car now now as the first thing that you are greeted with is the, the amount of new design there is a radical change in the designing starting from these metal strips out here to the ac vents and the whole layout of the entire dashboard and the uh, the side hand rest and even the glove box to everything but first thing is that this car is filled with a lot of storage options now starting off with the side door cards so they have about a, a, a lot of storage where you can just put two bottles or, or and a lot of stuff after that as well it also comes with the storage out here there's this dustbin that they've provided which is a very very clever and a neat idea so you can put all your trash out here and then whenever you want to remove so you have another storage out here which is your main storage and then whenever you want to remove the dustbin you can just remove it and throw everything out and then put it back and again close the door and then you have that thing back. Another clever feature, clever storage option is underneath the seat. So this is the, the storage feature out here. And 
there there also on the other side of the door there is in the back also there is quite a bit of storage so this car comes with ample of storage space the next point that we move on to is the let me start the car and show you all the technological bits that when you start the car there's a cool bit of animation where the car checks its uh, all the systems which is the abs the airbags and 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 the other intellisafe which i'm going to come to that as well so intellisafe is their 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 assist system the driver assist system so even that is being checked and all of that shows in a very cool graphic so that makes the whole start up starting up the car really exciting now moving on the whole center console is just you are greeted with this one big screen which is an 8 inch screen which is which is a touch screen now this screen is glossy so the problem is it's got a lot of finger uh print issues so after a while you may have to clean and volvo has been clever with that so it has also given you a cloth so that you can clean that screen so yes so this screen comes with all your infotainment system your navigation your uh, your infotainment like the bluetooth the fm and also the phone connection options also it's got a wide variety of options on top so if you want to change the more finer settings of your car so you can go from there which is the, from sliding down the menu option and then going into your car sound navigation media communication whatever you want to change you can change all of the settings intelli safe which is the 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 management system the safety management system on your car you can change that as well and also when you go you slide it around and then you can find more options your your um, lane keeping aid your parking assist the cross traffic alert start stop the car also comes with the blind spot warning system so uh, there is a road sign there, there there are a lot of features out here so also the headlights now they come with the cornering light features now again coming back to the menu so this is your center menu and then there are on both sides where you can slide and then see all everything the driver performance the messages from the car the car status there's also apple play and the android auto and that is pretty good moving on this car also comes with a charging so if your phone is capable of wireless charging so you can use the 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 the, the, the there's a special so on the in your center console there is a special center a uh, stand sort of provided so you can use that to charge your phone and as you can see it just starts charging right away and also you can there is another storage space out here which i missed out so this is more like a like a phone storage that you can use also there are two cup holders in the center console the next we come to the steering wheel so the steering wheel is also a uh, uh, quite a fancy one where everything from your media controls to the basic uh, cruise control yeah, the the car comes with an adaptive cruise control so the cruise control is is all operated from here and it also comes with a paddle shift so now the the for for using the paddle shift there is an option out here for where you can put the the car from the automatic to the manual mode and now this is the the shifter stick which is the gear stick to change the gears now it's it's a little on the smaller side because the usual position is like the, like somewhere around here but then this is a little small for my liking but i don't know you may like it or 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 people may have different tastes but again this now there is one another thing that you know when you're going from the 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 parking position when the car is and when you go into the the drive position so you have to basically slide the car first the so when you click the car into drive so the first, the car goes first into neutral and then into d now when i want to go take the car into the reverse gear so i have to again go from neutral to reverse and then there is a two stage thing that i have to perform so the car won't go directly from reverse to the neutral but it has to go through that phase which is sometimes a little annoying but if you get used to that it's a fairly simple system also when i put the car in reverse so the, the entire 360 camera system as i mentioned before is all out here and you can see uh, all, all the four camera positions where it is and it is very effective and helps you there are a ton of other options like the parking assist there is also the lane lane uh, lane feature where it shows you all the parking lines so you can use that as well 
also it uh, uh, you can select any camera that you want and then it will show you that particular angle now there is a parking button out here parking light button out here which which I, I think if it would have been mounted out here it would have been much easier because it's it's a fairly small one and then if there is an emergency you the, the the general tendency is to go for the center one somewhere in the center so if it was here or if it was here would have made more sense but again that is up to you if you can get used to that so it may be comfortable as well now another concern is that uh, this car has all the the aircon uh, control system in this screen so if i, I don't know if the, the screen has some issues so i don't know how will you be operating the aircon it was better to put the aircon out here and the media controls into the screen because you can live without the media controls or or your fm or a radio or your or your music system but you cannot live without an air conditioning now so the next point that we are going to be focusing on is the center screen now the screen is completely digital so when you start the car the the whole the whole screen lights up and then your dials are on both sides or so the rev counter is on the right and the speedometer is on the left and the center screen shows you all the information as you can see right now my seat belt the driver seat belt it shows all of the warning even for the passenger sitting at the back it shows the warning for them as well there is a lane control assist which is also the feature that i'm going to be discussing after this that also is being shown and displayed on the screen also when you turn on the navigation navigation so the navigation comes on your center screen and also in the in the dashboard on the on the dash screen so you are not distracted while driving so you don't have to look at the right side but pretty much at the center you have it in the in the center with you while driving it now that is a pretty cool feature now everything about this car otherwise is super super amazing ah there is another feature about the seats out here now the seats are dual tone which is made from leather and new pack and they are pretty pretty good in terms of that but a tad bit on the the harder side if i may say so because i i think these are kind of the racing seats and they are perforated even the steering wheel is uh, stitched with the white stitching and the leather and perforated in the center again but there is another cool feature about these seats so if you want the support for your the your legs extra support you can pull this out ah, yes that's how it is so you can pull this out and then you can have this extra sort of support onto your legs which is kind of a kind of a, a support if you have longer legs and then this may help you really good for your long journeys now again let me put it back and the seats both of them in the front comes with the the motorized control for the 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 upright position or the front and the back to change your support which is the back support and it also comes with a lumbar support that you can change from inside so the the, the whole tech inside this car is pretty amazing if this is a volvo and you do not talk about the safety system you are not talking about the volvo now this comes with an intelli safe system where the the car is usually monitoring the entire road and scanning all the dangers on the road so if there is a, there is an a, an accident or if you are about to hit some car it will make sure to apply the brakes in case you can't and if if you uh, if you are trying to change the lane and if there is a car next to you on your left or the right so it wouldn't change the lane and there is a lane assist feature as well there is also along with the abs there is ebd which is electronic brake distribution there is also eb s which is electronic uh, braking system automatic braking system so what happens is if you i press the button out here a electronic brake so when the car is at the at, at the at the in a traffic or 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 when you brake the car so it automatically uh, Uh, holds the brake and then when you press the accelerator it again releases that brake and continues moving forward so again that's one of the safety features and it, it makes your driving even more comfortable moving on in the back so the first things is the storage in the back door as well which continues and 
there is an ample of storage out here at the back side as well there is a cup holder out here there is a small storage out here i don't know you can store your keys or something there's also a storage for your file papers or whatever you want the back also comes with ac so the back passengers can also get the cooling as well now the seat position is pretty bang on and it is really comfortable at the back as well and you can see that the, now this put the, the seating is pretty much in the normal position where a normal uh, six feet guy would be sitting and then there is still ample of space for my legs and I can still stretch it and then still sit comfortably moving on to the center there is still space at the center as well for the fifth person to sit which is still quite comfortable as you can see in the center the the, the tunnel goes in between but it still won't be a problem for you because there is a lot of space in between so you can move around your legs now is here also you have the hand rest with the two cup holders which you can use or if you don't want to use you can just flip it up and then five people can sit easy i mean three people can sit in the back quite easily in the back this car comes with a 470 liters of boot space so let us check out that as i press and it opens up and there is quite a bit of space as you can see where it's enough to put two sort of big bags or one big bag and two small bags but the the whole space feature doesn't end out here now you see the, the there is uh, there is this compartment out here so when you open it and you press uh, uh, push the side dress you can see the space inside and you can put your ski or your golf bag and there is there is enough space to accommodate that and also two bags on the side but if you are regularly going for shopping this is the feature for you now when i lift this up and put it out here so you get two storage compartments one in the back and one in the front uh, if you look closer there is a bag inscription or a symbol uh, sort of inscribed on these plastic handles and so the feature is if you can put uh, plastic bags and then you can just tie them up onto these or hang them up and they won't slide around so that all your stuff that you bought stays in the same position and also there is another storage at the bottom as well let me start off with its first off-road capabilities now uh, this car surely does have the off-road capability to go around I've taken it for a while i've taken it in, in in a sort of sort of mild desert conditions and it was pretty impressive enough and i think yeah that's what you want from an suv because it's obviously an suv the xc40 comes in two variants which is a front wheel drive which is t4 and an all wheel drive t5 which is this one that i am driving so this car comes with two liter turbocharged petrol engine which produces 247 woof, 247 bhp and 350 newton meters of torque and rightly so because when you press the throttle this car is just amazing now even the throttle response for this car is bloody brilliant the moment you press the throttle it is off Bear in mind there are some few safety systems that, that this car keeps on interfering time and again but it is it, it only kicks in when it is really necessary and that is what I'm glad about but you know this is the kind of safety system that you needed from a car like this and Volvo as I mentioned before has a target by 2020 to make all its cars super safe so that there is literally zero death or accident because of the cars and that is pretty impressive now coming on to the steering wheel a car this big the, the car weighs around 1700 kilograms which is this four wheel drive and the two wheel drive which is the front wheel drive weighs around uh, 100 1450 kilograms and to be honest with you you cannot really feel the weight in this car because it is so well distributed even the balance of the car is pretty much bang on i would say and because it's a small suv and it's got a shorter wheel base so because of that it, it can maneuver around quite quickly it's got a very short radius of turn the, the steering wheel is pretty light and it's pretty precise if if i'm if i'm honest so this car has got uh, 
four driving modes which is the comfortable the dynamic the off-road and also the economy mode now in the off-road mode when i tried the car was pretty good it would it would raise itself a little and then it was it was at the high torque range and that is why it was able to go into the desert conditions as well so generally expect an suv to have sort of a role but this surprisingly has very minimum role i mean i have pushed this car at quite a fast like at, at some decent speeds into the corners and it pretty much handles really well i mean i was so surprised and it and it just didn't throw up it just did not it's it's got a pretty punchy feel when you press the throttle so as i try press the throttle look i'm pretty much feeling the acceleration from the car this big and an suv but another uh, sort of minor issue that i have is the engine noise it's got a little engine noise when it usually starts to go up from 2000 to 3000 uh, 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 3000 rpm and once it starts going above that so there is a slight bit of engine noise but i mean just put on a music system and then you are good to go now coming on to the brakes the brakes I have mentioned before that you know some manufacturers have two sensitive brakes this car again I am so glad that this has the most softest brakes and not softest in the way that you know it won't break at all but it's got that fine balance that you know when you press the the, the brakes it just doesn't uh, doesn't come to a stop suddenly but takes its own sweet time and you know you you actually put because let's get let's be honest when you are braking the general tendency is to brake with a force so there is a force that you apply on the brake pedals and that's when the braking action should happen but then some cars have too sensitive and one centimeter you press on it and then it just comes to a halt now also check out the lane assist feature that this car has and it's always been talked about but it genuinely baffles my mind when when it is all when it is in operation because it really tries to correct me and whenever i leave my steering wheel or my hands aren't on the steering wheel it subtly keeps uh, changing the the direction of the car and make sure that it sticks to the lane discipline now i am going to demonstrate that but again bear in mind this is only for the safe sake of test and because i want to show you guys how good this system is but do not try this anywhere because i've been doing this in a controlled environment where there are no cars and the road is empty now check this out all right now i am doing this and the car is going to do look look it's already correcting me okay this is so cool this is just bloody brilliant <laughs> anyways i think that is pretty much what what this car is about and i've covered and i've tried to cover all the aspects of the car from driving to exterior interior also the dynamics of the car and i think this car deserves a, a, a really fair share of sales from the, from all the all the cars that are currently in the market and if you have a time i would advise you all to just go and check this car out take a test drive and make sure to check every feature of this car because if you ask me for the safety and considering uae where the road speeds are averaging about 100 kilometers and for that reason this car fits really well in terms of its safety feature but trust me on this with all the new models that it is coming out with this car is definitely going to be a path breaking car for sure this is going to be a selling it in in volumes for sure because let's be honest if you care about your family if you care about your safety if you care about yourself if you care about your passengers then you're gonna go with this car because this car is as safe as a car can be currently i'm gonna enjoy this car right now because i have another day with this car and i just don't want to come out of this car because honestly this car has impressed me a lot to be honest i i, I wasn't sure an suv would be this cool or this impressive because it is so urban it is so youthful it is so fresh and for that reason the moment i stepped in i was blown away by by what this car could do or how this how good the car was anyways give it a thumbs up if you like this video and make sure to share and subscribe for more videos to come i hope you've enjoyed this video and until we meet next time bye bye